Hi, welcome to video tutorial number 42. Today we're working with the video delay and we're going to do a little feedback with X-Fade, otherwise known as Crossfade. And here we are. Um, I was cleaning a little, but in our last uh, tutorial we were exploring the options that JIT-OP um, uh, gave us with uh, using the video delay and uh, here we'll just get this thing started back up here and uh, yeah so uh, um, the delay that might be nice for you to know how they do it so I'm gonna put this on average so it kinda looks like a typical sort of crossfade situation we'll turn our delay up a little bit so it points it out a little more and um, okay it's time to clean up every now and then you have to clean up and now it's our turn it's our time to clean up so I'm gonna unlock the patcher here and uh, boy if you guys can bear with me I am really supposed to get my computer back later today and I know it's painful to watch this one but it's all I've got so Okay, so here's our op controller, and let's um, let's put our two little videos over here so we can compare them, and it'll also give us a little bit of space to make room for our X-Fade object. We'll move down a little bit. Okay, so let's get a <clears throat> an X-Fade object in here. Uh, type n type uh, jit dot x fade and sometime today my oh glorious glorious there it is spinning beach ball of death everything okay does it make me nervous no not at all not at all so here we have the input coming down here for our JIT matrix set and we're going to move that over to the X fade. No, no, not the controlling one, just the sorry. We don't want the the control doing it. We want the signal from here. There it is. Going into X fade and then coming out R meaning that it's uh, if you imagine the slider all the way over to the left, let's let's do more than imagine it. Let's make it. Um, uh, you could either type a new object, or I'm just going to copy this one. So here's our slider, and of course we will need to let's use prepend this time. Make a new object. Prepend. And I threw this out in the last video. What a waste of computing time. Prepend. And then we just need to prepend it with, with X fade, the message. And we know that that is what is going to happen here. And we'll connect this to that and connect this to xfade and now all we need to do is click on this and go over to the inspector and give it the right parameters so that it can work so click on the inspector tab and let's zoom down here and try to remember what um, values we had here we need a range of one Come on, one. No, that's not a one. Uh, one. One. Point zero, just to be safe. And I love how it does that. It just changes it to a two, as though I didn't know what I was doing. Double click on it. Uh, 
double click on it and say 1.0 again and click outside it and see if we get okay and then oh I, I'm sorry it it can't <laughs> now I know why it does that okay a slider can't only have one output so it has to have two unless you say float the output in which case it can give you all the numbers between 0 and 1 so now when we double click on it we will have our way with it and get a 0 to 1 output Boy, I was wondering about that it had uh, it was really banging on the thing earlier trying to get it to stop doing that now I know why that's kind of the way it is in life isn't it okay so <clears throat> now we have a slider that controls this X fade but we don't have anything hooked to this input from the X fade and I will tell you why because we're going to take the output of our matrix set and feed it back into the input. Ooh, that sounds like a bad idea. Sounds bad. It sounds like the kind of thing that causes yellow warning bars to come up on the top of my screen. Okay, so the, the video, real-time video will be coming in here and coming out here to matrix set it will get delayed and it will go down there but it will also feed back into this X fade which can be mixed with that incoming video that this is now delayed from and going into here and getting delayed even more so well that's all pretty exciting let's just try it out so I'm locking my patcher um, here's our our regular delay we can see that going one two images okay let's turn this up a tiny bit and hope that hey look at that so now we see three four four images of balls let's just turn it up to the middle so we're kinda of getting a little bit of a blur effect and what I would say is if we can um, have to zoom out a little bit here um, if we turn this down so the delay is not so big say down to whoa don't want to go down that far let's say down to three now we get that trail because we're feeding so there it is just delay 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 and now we'll just <clears throat> feed in only delay and it should just go around in a circle as far as I know it'll never never get anywhere it'll just keep delaying itself so that's one way to kinda get the the, the trails going there I, I like it uh, down a little bit and and you need a little new video coming in there to kinda keep things interesting um, obviously you could also change this X fade to a um, JIT op I mean you could have the JIT op also feeding around back into here as well oh did you say try it alright I'll try it and I'll just unlock the patcher here and move this down here Boop. and now we're getting well as soon as I lock this thing down um, how can we prove that we're getting some JIT op action into here well since it's just kind of averaging right now it's not very interesting but if we go to something that we know is a little bit more exciting like modulo we'll see it really start feeding back in crazy ways. Let's turn this down so we can see the original coming in at least to some degree. Uh, how about something more like multiplication or a little more easygoing? 
that's a multiply and what happens when we turn it up it gets very dark so we turn it down and the straight up and down bar and now we'll feed back that into itself and see where it starts losing its marbles. So, as you can see, um, you can wreak a lot of havoc on this um, by having it fade back into itself. Remember, you can't just plug it in. Use the X fade object, or like I said, you could use the um, you could use a jitter op object here as well though since you have one here you're already feeding in uh, a mathematical operation if you feed in more than one operation what would happen well that's an excellent question um, but uh, only you only you have the power to find that out um, woo I'm just gonna stay here and play with my jitter objects um, but uh, I hope this has been uh, fun for you and you can take it to an extreme end for your own um, for your own pursuits I kind of like that Wow all right we'll have fun and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye